This video is about energy cycles. So the keyword in this question is to calculate the lattice enthalpy of sodium chloride. And the concept of this question is to calculate lattice enthalpy using the Born-Haber diagram. So the Born-Haber diagram is set up in a way where we have the reactants, so a metal and a halogen. And it will react to form the product of a salt. And you can see how this equation is balanced as well. And this step is called the enthalpy of formation. But the born haber diagram will show us the smaller steps that it takes to go from this reactant to the product. So first, we can see how the metal is in solid form, and it actually needs to be in gaseous form to be able to react. So we, And in this step, it takes the enthalpy of atomization of the metal. Um, moving on, the metal will need to form a cation to be able to bond in a ionic bond with the halogen and form the salt. So we would have a metal cation as well as an electron, and that is the enthalpy of first ionization. Now we can see how the halogen is in a pair but needs to be on its own to be able to take the electron and become an anion. So now we have the metal as a cation already and the electron and the halogen will become an atom on its own. So there. And then from that step the, uh, the halogen is able to take the electron and become an anion. Oh, sorry, backtrack. Um, in this step from this step is called the atomization of the halogen. Now we have cation, cation, uh, cation metal and the anion halogen. And that step occurs is the enthalpy of electron affinity. And then lastly, you can see how these two are opposite charges and they will bond to form a salt. Uh, through ionic bonding. And this last step is the measures of the lattice enthalpy. So you can see how it's this diagram is divided from the left and the right, the left side here and the right side with this equation being the middle. And the left side it's grouped in that way because there is a positive value of energy because it will take energy. The molecule is absorbing energy to be able to form these bonds or go through with these reactions. But on this side, it's the opposite. It's the negative amount of energy because they're forming bonds that will release energy. So the molecule have a decrease in amount of energy. And what's a bit confusing here is the enthalpy of lattice. It's actually a positive value but it's because it's going because it's on this side it's meant to be a negative value so how we're going to represent that is we're going to flip our arrow around because the measure itself is the opposite because the sign of the amount of energy is the opposite so when we go to calculate it we we always we get the results and we need to flip the sign so this enthalpy of formation it's like the summary of all these smaller steps so it's really simple the results for this enthalpy of formation is the addition of the value of all these other enthalpies and we would have an equation that looks something like this. So we have the enthalpy of formation is equal to the enthalpy of atomization of the metal plus the enthalpy of ionize, first ionization energy of the metal, the enthalpy of atomization of the halogen, the enthalpy of electron affinity of the halogen, and lastly, 
the enthalpy of the lattice. But remember, the lattice, it, the sign is switched, so instead. Now we can go back to our question and use all these values and plug it into our equation. And we have something that looks like this. And once we calculate that, x will become 679. Remember our units, which is kilojoules per mole. And that is our final answer.